Bites Tucson, where we are having a bite and talking business in Tucson. I'm Amanda Bruno from the City of Tucson. I'm here at Edmund Optics with Robert Edmund. Robert, can you introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about the company and the background and what you all do? Okay. Well, I'm Robert Edmund and uh, son of the actual founder of the company. My father founded the company during World War II uh, to work on optical projects for the war effort. Optics was not the original name of the company. It was Edmund Salvage. As they say, it was doing work for the war effort and it was salvaging optical instruments. Uh, then the company was changed to Edmund Optics. Got it. And so now as Edmund Optics, what do you, what do you guys do? Okay, well, we, we have always been a supplier of optical elements primarily and some optical instruments like microscopes and binoculars. Uh, in World War II, we actually made binoculars. Um, but uh, we gradually added more and more optical elements uh, to our catalog. Uh, and then we started doing our own manufacturing in the uh, 80s and uh, expanded that rather dramatically in the 90s and early 2000s. And uh, we now have Besides our U.S. locations in New Jersey and here in Arizona, we have a large factory in northern Japan, a small factory in China, and another large factory in Singapore. That's great. But everything started in Tucson, right? No, the business actually started in New Jersey. Okay. Um, Philadelphia had a large arsenal for the war, uh, Frankfurt Arsenal, and uh, that's where the optical work was being done. I see. So in Tucson, you guys just opened like a, a big manufacturing facility a little bit south of here, right? Yes. And what is it about our, like what is it about our community and Tucson where an expansion here makes sense and just doing business here makes sense for you? Okay. In the mid nineties, we, opened an office in Tucson and um, the uh, whole idea was for it to be a center for optical engineers uh, as we do a lot of design and uh, engineering work for our customers. Um, and the reasoning behind that was when I started coming back to Tucson, I quickly learned that the best optical uh, uh, college or university was the University of Arizona. And uh, I started going down to the, it's called optical science, it's now the Wyatt College of, of Optics, but uh, to recruit students and um, there were many good candidates and uh, unfortunately the experience I had is that uh, I would interview students and find one that I liked and I would get to a point and say to him or her well, I'm impressed and I'd like to offer you a job. And they'd say, great. And then I'd say, when do you graduate? And they'd say, oh, end of May. And I said, so when do you think you'd be ready to move to New Jersey? And uh, I specifically remember the one student just closing his book and he got up and walked out. And uh, some of the others weren't quite so rude, but basically objected to the idea of having to move to New Jersey. So 
um, since we couldn't get them to come our way, we decided that it would be good to open a center here in Tucson and uh, found immediately that we could hire lots of engineers, graduate engineers, and um, we also developed a program for uh, uh, students to work during the summer or, or after school mm -hmm. for us. And, and, uh, so it, it quickly grew and today we have over 35 graduates of uh, optical science at the university and uh, we'll hire some more this year. That's awesome. Um, so that connection through U of A then is like the primary reason? Yeah, yeah. that's primary. That, that's great. Um, so what is it about Tucson when you're not working? Um, what do you like to do around town? Where do you recommend people okay. coming from out of town? Well, when you say what else about Tucson, I would have to say probably number one <laughs> is the weather. Sure. <laughs> and um, having lived most of my life in New Jersey that actually has a winter and snow and so forth, that uh, my wife and I were pretty determined that we were going to find a warm place. And uh, <laughs> Tucson is certainly it, and it's bright and it's sunny. And um, I was a horse rider most of my life, e even back east, and uh, so it appealed to me very much that Tucson had uh, options where I could get a horse and ride, right. and uh, my wife is an amateur geologist, and uh, she was very impressed with the rock show and uh, further impressed with the uh, idea that there were so many places in the um, uh, Arizona mountains and desert and so forth that you could go and uh, find very interesting uh, rocks and whatnot. Got it. That's great. Yeah, the Gem and Mineral Show is a huge event for us. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. yeah. Well, um, I've got some goodies, and I don't want to eat up too much more of your time, but I appreciate you talk, uh, talking with me, and thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next time.